YouTube. Today on The Naughty Librarian, I am bringing you an awesome romance book haul. So here is another batch of smutty books I've been acquiring lately. And yeah, let's just get into it. I'm super excited to discuss smutty delights. I want to try to start off this list with probably like the least smutty <laughs> and like work my way up to like the ultra smutty. I have The Royal We by Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan. So in case you do not know, Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan are together um, an Instagram and Twitter sensation called The Fug Girls. And they also have their own website. And they do fashion and all kinds of stuff. They're also low-key obsessed with the royal family. <laughs> and they wrote a book. <laughs> it's kind of uh, like a little bit fan fiction about William and Kate. Um, there is a commoner girl in college and then she meets the prince and they hit it off and they eventually get married but it's also about the relationship and what it means to date a prince. So this is signed and I'm excited to read it. I hadn't heard of the book before but now that I have I'm like so into it. I'm kind of like into like royal stuff right now. It's like like a thing at the moment. <laughs> Next up, I have not one, not two, but three books from the Chicagoland Vampire series by Chloe Neal. I actually really love this series. I have not finished it, but I've read like the first six or seven books of the series, and there's like a lot of books in this series. <laughs> I think I was about halfway through, and then I just, I haven't picked it back up again, but I should. Um, it's about this woman named Merritt, and she gets turned into a vampire kind of against her will, but um, this is the world where everybody knows vampires exist. Like, everybody knows. And in Chicago, there's several different vampire houses you could belong to. And she gets chosen for Cadigan House. And I really love Merritt as a heroine because she's super smart. And she uses her wits. And she, she's just awesome. She's really strong. She's a strong person. So I really enjoy it. Some Girls Bite is the first book of the series. And then there's Twice Bitten, which I think is the third book of the series and then there's bite and code which i think is like the sixth book of the series i'm not 100 percent what order these are except i know this is the first one <laughs> i've already read all three of these and i really enjoyed them but i found them all at library book sale so all together this was like a dollar fifty so i'm excited that i finally own some hard copies of this series next up i have hot shot by julie garwood this is a story of a woman named peyton and essentially i guess she's like a chef and her and her sisters like inherit this like house or something. And then there's this guy named Finn who saved her life when they were kids and now like they're all grown up and he works for the FBI. And I guess someone's trying to hurt her and he's like, I'll protect you. And then they like do it. <laughs> I'm an amazing synopsizer. I'm basically like an action romance. And sometimes I'm just in the mood for running and explosions. And I like guys who want to be protectors, so I don't know. I haven't really read anything by Julie Garwood, but this is basically, um, she's kind of an author that's very popular because I see her books distributed very wide. And yeah, I kind of want to see what she's all about. Next up, I have Asa by J. Crownover. This is part of the Marked Men series, and I haven't read this series yet for some reason, but I have them all on my TBR list. And I finally found like one of the books of the series, so I grabbed it, even though it is a, a bit of a well-loved copy. <laughs> I was still excited to get a physical one. It's about a guy named Asa who gets in trouble with the law, maybe too much. And then there is a female cop named Royal, and I guess she locks him up for some reason. And then I, I guess it wasn't a serious one if she's like has a crush on him all of a sudden. I don't think she's gonna get a crush on like, you know, a murderer. She, you know, he probably just like drunk and disorderly. Who knows? But anyway, she's a cop. He's kind of a criminal. They, and like they get together. And I assume like he becomes like a good guy somehow. Jay Crownover is an author I like, and I always wanted to read this series, and finally I have one of them, so I'm excited. Next up, I have Hard and Fast by Erin McCarthy. <laughs> if this isn't a romance novel, I don't know what else it would ever be. <laughs> I mean, it's got a cover full of abs, and it's called Hard and Fast. Like, it's got a double entendre as the title. I'm excited. It's kind of like a sports romance a little bit. 
is about a woman named Imogen and a guy named Ty. And Ty is a stock car racer. So I, you know, I'm gonna count it as a sport. <laughs> and Imogen essentially is trying to do like a thesis on, I guess, dating. It's a little bit of like how to lose a guy in 10 days or something because she's trying to like write a paper about how it is to like date an athlete or something. I don't know, but like the thing is, he actually wants to date her for real. So I guess in the end, they fall in love. <laughs> Next I have Switch by Megan Hart. I am fairly certain this is a romance because it looks super romancy, but like the blurb when I read it, it's like very vague. The only thing I got out of it it sounds like it's a woman who masturbates to the male. <laughs> like, woo. Yeah, that, that, that's what I got out of it. It looks like a woman who gets like the wrong person's mail and then reads it and then like pulls the page. Like, I don't know. I don't know exactly what this is about, but apparently masturbation and the male are two of the things it's about. Probably some other stuff too, I hope. Last up, I have Claimed by the Wolf by Charlene Teglia. So I grabbed this because I like paranormal romances and it says Claimed by the Wolf. Like 90% of the books I read are like werewolf porn. So obviously I'm gonna get this. I read the back cover and then I skimmed it a little bit and this is way dirtier than I ever expected it to be. Like ever. <laughs> um, I still haven't read it. I got it a little while ago. And I still haven't read it just because now I'm horrified because I think it's about this woman who like bangs five guys at once. <laughs> and I'm like, that's just too many, that's too many dicks to like handle. Like, <laughs> so, hmm. And they're all, they're not like dudes. They're like supernatural things. There's like a dragon and a, and a vampire and a werewolf, obviously. And, and a couple other things like a demon, probably, I don't know. And something else, some other creature and she bangs all of them. So this is way, way dirtier than anything I was expecting it to be. So I'm like a little intimidated, but I might try to read it anyways and just see like how intense like this gets. <laughs> Cause I feel like it's going to be very graphic. I mean, most smut is graphic, but like this is gonna be like another level of graphic. Hmm, <laughs> why? Okay, that's all for this haul. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these books, which ones are your favorites or least favorites, which ones should definitely go to the top of my TBR list. I wanna know what you think. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you wanna see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.